Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do the difference between cutting to get lean and gaining to get big and strong. Um, there's a lot of misnomers about there and misconcepts out there and you can't do one thing for the other to work. It doesn't work that way. If you're going to do things to get lean, you do things to get lean. If you do things to get big, you do things to get big. So let's get started on how to do that. All right, first we're going to start with how many days a week you're going to need to train. Because <clears throat> cutting and gaining are two different things. So if you're cutting and trying to get lean, you're going to want to train like six days a week. So on a Monday, if you do legs, then Tuesday you're going to do pushing events. So bench, shoulders, triceps. And then uh, Wednesday, you're going to do uh, lats and biceps and rear deltoids. Um, and then you're going to throw abs in there, probably on leg days, so you get that twice a week. And you throw calves in there, actually on your push days, because you don't want to do calves with legs. You, you want the energy to go into your legs, not into your calves. But it's kind of the way I've done the split, and what seems to work good for me. Uh, and then you're going to turn around and do the same thing all over again. All over again. And the amount of calories that you're burning by doing it more days during the week is going to help you get leaner. You're not going to be able to go heavier, which brings, uh, you're going to have to go medium weights because you're going to have to try to recover for these. You're going to have to do more sets with more reps. So a higher rep count. Um, usually I would go probably per body part, I would do 12 to 15 sets. Whereas if I was strength building, I would probably be doing eight sets top for trying to get strong. If you're also trying to get strong, you're going to train three days a week, which is basically what I train now. Every once in a while I throw in that fourth day, but for the most part, it's three days a week. Saturday I do legs, Monday I do my pushing stuff, which is chest, shoulders, and triceps, and Wednesday I do my back and biceps and rear delts. You know, I throw in some uh, abs and stuff like that on a couple of the days, and I do my calves on a couple of the days. Uh, I do a lot of stretching in the in-between for parts of my rest, which is important, but I still don't do anything that's physically taxing. There's also going to be a big difference between what you do in your idle time uh, between the two of getting big and getting lean. If you're trying to get bigger, um, if you have the chance to uh, take a nap or lay down, you're going to take a nap. If you have the difference between laying down and uh, sitting, you're going to lay down. If you have the chance between sitting and standing, you're going to sit. Uh, if you have the chance between standing and walking, you're going to stand. So you're going to try to do as little as possible to get as much rest as possible other than stretching um, in your off time so that you can hold on to your calories and your body can recover. Quite the opposite when you're trying to get lean. If you have the chance to uh, take a nap or lay down, you're going to lay down, not take a nap. And it works all the way back through the other way. If you have a chance to you know, stand or you can go walking like a mile or two, you're gonna go walking a mile or two because you're going to burn more calories doing that. Um, you're also gonna throw in some cardiovascular, more cardiovascular activity than you would if you're trying to get big. If you're trying to get big, you, know, uh, you might do some HIIT training while you're uh, doing your uh, assistance exercises. Whereas you're actually going to want to spend 20 to 40 minutes doing cardio a day, six days a week when you're trying to get lean. Next, we're going to talk about rest between your sets. When you're trying to get big and strong, you're going to rest all the way up to where you don't feel anything in your muscles again. So, like if I squat really heavy, I'm going to wait probably 10 to 15 minutes before I do another squat. It's just that simple. Same thing with the bench, same thing. So my, my workouts take longer, but I get more rest in between them. I'm fully recovered and put all of my energy into the sets where I'm going. Now, if I'm trying to get leaner, I'm going to do quite the opposite. I'm going to take as little rest between them as I can. If I take 20 or 30 seconds rest between sets, and I go from one exercise to the next exercise to the next exercise, and I'm winded and I'm going and stuff like that. That's what you want to do when you're trying to get lean. And last, as far as eating or trying to get lean or trying to get bigger, if you're trying to get lean, you're going to need to eat at least five or six times a day, but you're going to need to eat at least 200 calories less than you're eating now. The diet doesn't have to be super special or super scientific. 
you just need to function in a calorie deficit from where you were. So if you eat 200 less calories a day, but spread that over six meals, you're going to burn more calories and you lose weight faster. Plus, every time you eat a meal, and I don't know if you know this or not, it costs about 50 calories to digest your food. That's why they tell people to eat a whole bunch of small meals when they're trying to lose weight, you know, to speed up their metabolism. Well, yeah, if you eat seven meals in a day, you're gonna burn 350 calories instead of eating three meals in a day and burning 150 calories. It's a big difference that way. Um, but it's kind of the same. You might want to eat four or five times when you're trying to get bigger, but you want to eat till you're full, to where you're uncomfortable when you're trying to get bigger. So your belly's kind of pooching out, you can't get down to your shoes, and it feels like you're gonna almost barf when you're trying to move after you get done eating. Well, that's how you need to be eating to gain weight. So that's kind of the differences between cutting and gaining. They do not cross work. You can't do this side and end up looking at this side, or can't do that side and end up looking at this side. You can't do cutting things and try to get really big and strong. And you can't do things where you're trying to get really big and strong doing the cutting things. It's not going to work. They're counterproductive to one another. All right, that's it for today. If you like this, please leave a like down at the bottom and also subscribe. If you have any questions, leave comments. I'm trying to get better at answering some of those or bringing them up in the next videos. If you have any video ideas, also put those down there and keep putting them down there because we'll get to them eventually. <laughs> Can't get to everybody's request in a day, but we will get to it. But as always, train hard, train smart, and be the best you can be.